What's up YouTube, it's Unruly. In this video we're going to talk about gear for Mortal Kombat 11. Would you like to see it be a thing? Would you not like to see it? Uh, and I think this is a big topic because there was a lot of people that enjoyed gear for Injustice and there was a lot of people that didn't enjoy gear for Injustice. And I believe one of those reasons people didn't enjoy gear because my goodness it turned the game into item management. Literally you could spend almost a few hours going in there and managing gear. That was the very bad part of gear that a lot of people didn't like in this game. Now the one thing people did enjoy about gear was customizing your characters to really give them a unique look to your playstyle with colors and everything like that. I think the gear system is great. I think Netherrealm has to work on the, the management with it. Now in one way I think a lot of people would like to see gear pass over to MK11 is Make it just purely cosmetic. Forget the stats and the boosts and everything like that. I think things like that is what people really didn't like in the game. And that's one thing that I personally didn't enjoy. Because when we go into the gear uh, layout and we see all these um, pieces, they're all very similar except the, the stat boosts that they give you. And for one, that makes you have like 25 of almost the same mask except that it has different attributes to it and that's something that I think that is just which kind of mind numbing because then you have to go oh this mask and for me I don't really care about that I only play ranked and it took away a lot of the fun of the game because it's like oh I have to manage this thing and this that and I believe what they should do is just maybe maybe make like a hundred of each you know a hundred masks or a hundred pieces or or just to have it limited to a certain number of pieces, maybe just a hundred in total. And then you can collect the whole thing by going through the crypt. And if you wanted to do the stat boost, which I, mo most of the community does not want, but it's up to them. And I believe what they should probably do is have the gear all just be set and then have gems. You put a certain gem and that way you don't have to collect 25 of the same pieces of gear. And I, that was one of the inherent problems with the game. And uh, like, let's say you want to use that for injustice. Okay, make it just all right. A hunt, each character has a hundred pieces of gear and a bunch of different ways to make your character look cool. And not to worry about the attributes to have the same piece and use the those things that I've never even really used before, like the whatever coin or something like that. Like, um, uh, it's it's weird. Like, there's some things that I haven't even really used and but I think just have it be gems and you just collect these gems and then you put it on the gear and that way it gives you that attribute instead of making like this mask is like some of these masks are pretty much almost identical I mean I'm pretty sure this one is the same as that one but I have two pieces of the same gear and, I, and that's something that should be fixed in Mortal Kombat but what's cool about this video is uh, or this thing is we get to see what Mortal Kombat 11 could be like with gear and customizing your character and making them look awesome I mean that's something I've always wanted it was like an ice or white uh, ninja and I get that in this game and we've got new Cybot now one other thing that I have about gear is that there isn't too many tremendous changes uh, in, within the costumes of gear. Like I, I would like to definitely see it be expanded on. And then we can take a look at Raiden. And the different looks that we've given to Raiden. Now one thing I hope as well for Mortal Kombat 11 in, when we have gear, I hope it's not too much armored based because I know this game is uh, Injustice is all about armor and Mortal Kombat uh, it shouldn't be so much about armor like in the gear they should just make it look like kind of different costumes in the game now one thing that you can do in this game uh, especially with Sub-Zero that I haven't even collected that gear yet and that's how much gear is in this game and I'm like oh my goodness and did I get that piece of gear when I had over a hundred these things have to be fixed and addressed in Mortal Kombat 11 if they're going to use the gear system uh, they have classic costumes that you can unlock. You can unlock the Mortal Kombat 2 gear and the Mortal Kombat 3, or actually the Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 gear, which is amazing. Which I haven't even seen it. But um, that's something that they could probably improve on. Maybe they can make those towers and every, every month or every two weeks 
they have a tower, the UMK3 tower. And in that tower, you unlock a new piece of classic gear and stuff like that to keep the game kind of fresh and to keep you going back because I, for one, I like it. I play this game a lot and I, and I think it's great when you have your character and you have them be unique and you can go through the different colors. And, um, I mean, to do something like this, is pretty awesome because then right here look at you have chrome and you, chrome is all is that secret character that everybody's been talking about and oh man well you know like since back in the day and let's say Molina isn't in the game and then you can do things like if you have katana or a new female character you can make them pink so I believe the gear system is awesome it just has its flaws. Now, one of the flaws I'd like to talk to you about, uh, let's take a look at Black Canary. Now, we have her, he her, her layout, right? None of these things do anything that drastic, they just give her a mask. I'd like to see more changes of like, uh, in gear, maybe changing hairstyles, for sure, adding different kind of makeup, m to make the character even more unique. So I really hope they expand this gear, because yeah, this is like one mask, and well, let's take a look at a few other characters that I believe that they really need to kind of improve this gear system. And I'd like to see it I mean, you can see this mainly changes the hoods. You get one kind of different hairstyle, but that's probably what her hair looks like without the hood. So it's not much of a hairstyle change. And Here's one example that I'd like to give, that I'd like to see in the next Mortal Kombat. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at some things that I think can definitely be improved on. Now, here's Jackie Briggs. This is concept art of Jackie Briggs. I'd like to see the gear to be expanded because a lot of things I think with the gear, it's just very minor changes that don't really make the characters that unique when you're changing the gear. I'd like to see it where you could literally make completely different looking outfits. Like if you get the gear, you can make something like these characters, you know, change the hair color, change maybe the invi uh, individual pieces of gear to really give your character um, unique because Mortal Kombat did have a create a character and I believe this can kind of be like the next best thing it doesn't have create a character you can really make your character unique as you can see Jackie Briggs has got like some white dreads and then right here she's got look like she has some blonde hair and over here she looks like she has some braids so that's something I would love to see expanded on and just make it so it's not purely crazy item management because let's go ahead and take a look at over here and these are the different enchantresses I have. They haven't been expanded that much. They're not drastically changed. So I think they have the right idea. Netherrealm has always been good of coming up with an idea. And if it's like, okay, it works, let's expand it. Let's make it better. So with that said, guys, I want to know in the comments below. Let's keep this conversation going because that's what this that's what these videos are about. They're about a conversation about Mortal Kombat 11 that we can talk about and things. Because I really do enjoy interacting and uh, communicating with you guys. So let me know if you guys like the gear, if you don't want the gear. I believe it's great. I believe it's a way to make for me to make a bunch of different costumes without having to buy DLC. And I would say uh, include those, um, those crazy costumes that you get in the game. Like uh, when you go to Raiden. I forget what they're called, so, uh, like the epic skins or something like that. I think the epic skins would be great if we go to here, if we go, so we can maybe turn one character into another character, but, um, I, I'm all for gear in Mortal Kombat 11, I just hope they can really change it up in this, um, in the new game especially with the colors and everything like that. But I want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys have any more ideas or comments or questions for more Mortal Kombat 11 talk, please leave them in the comments. All right, guys. Peace.